All right, guys. Well, got the fishing rod holder here. This is the one I chose off of Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me. 25 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play around with this and see how this works out. I will leave a link to it in the uh, description below. This is not a sponsored video. Paid for this my own money. My target here is I'm going to try to uh, use this part of the frame on the, uh, the rack. But I could also use the frame down here. As long as it's a rounded frame, it'll work. So let's get to start on the mount piece first, guys. Okay, well, we got the mount placed on. The nice thing about the mount is you can place the mount. You don't have to remove the mount because this piece right here, your actual rod holder, is not only adjustable for the angle that you want it, but you can take it off real easy just with a one nut. That's all it takes. Now I did kind of have to improvise on this. I put some uh, rubber strips around this uh, frame, part of the frame right here, and I wrapped up electrical tape to get this thing on securely. But you can see it's not it's not going to go anywhere at all. It's nice and tight. <clears throat> it would have been a perfect fit for like uh, this round bar right here because this is actually designed for five eighths to one inch round diameter uh, frame pieces on your bike. But I did not want it this close to the seat right here. I wanted to make sure that I can mount these to the actual rack itself, which you can with a little bit of modification. So go ahead and get this piece put on and get the pole set in. And that'll pretty much be it, guys. Okay, so we have the actual holder itself mounted. I'm gonna do the true test here. First of all, I have a smaller pole. See how this comes in. Slides right down there without an issue. Now, the one thing to note is this opening right here, you know, like if I push this, it's designed to have it go in there securely. You guys can see that, right? Now, the one thing they do, uh, don't you even think about it. The cat's over here looking at, okay, yeah, go the other way. One thing they do uh, recommend, if you have a wider stem on your reel, you can trim this opening like with a Dremel tool or something like that. Other than that, you know, it's, yeah, it's not really a pain in the butt. Um, just pop it open, comes right out. This is the other reason why I wanted, wanted to mount this uh, upwards on the uh, side of the frame, the carrier frame, rather than down here because of your base that comes through it. And by the way, make sure that your fishing pole base is not wider than one and a quarter inch. Now let's go ahead and try my bigger uh, surf pole here, I had to, geez, it's crazy. I had to take this one in half because it's a pretty big pole. See, and this one has a longer uh, handle. This handle is just about, yeah, the handle could have actually been a little bit wider, been fine. You guys see, that would fit right there totally securely. And if I were to actually Dremel, <clears throat> or shave some of this uh, opening to make it a little bit wider, this would fit right down in there. But you're gonna have this bottom piece a lot closer to the ground, so you wanna keep that in mind when you're uh, setting one of these up for a fishing pole. How big is your pole? How wide is your base, most importantly? Yeah, other than that, uh, hey, you know, for 25 bucks, it'll work, it's pretty secure. I have to wait and see how it holds up on bumpy roads. I mean, but the main, uh, nut right here has a lock washer so i don't think we'll have a problem with that i would say i would suspect uh, if i have any problem it'll be with the actual mount bracket right here but if that's the case no big deal i'll just put some loctite on those reposition it then loctite it and tighten it back down and eliminate the problem but yeah that's your pole holder pretty cool gadget for 25 bucks so yeah this way we can actually uh 
equip a tackle box on one of the back of the bikes or like just put together a small uh like carry tote with some tackle doesn't have to be anything too extreme so yeah other than that guys hope you're doing good and keep safe out there and i'll see you on the next video peace